it's hard standing here just actually looking at that house for the first time since I found out that my baby was there. For the first time since news of her 13-year-old daughter's death, a heartbroken mother and hundreds showing up to support Siobhan Randall. That girl was kidnapped and killed, and police blame drugs and a robbery she had nothing to do with. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. And I'm Ken Molestina. Our Jeff Paul was at tonight's vigil for Siobhan Randall. He's in the neighborhood where police found her dead. New at 10, Jeff Paul was again at that vigil with the message from the teen's family. Well, Ken and Kaylee, it was inside this home you see behind me now covered with stuffed animals, candles, and balloons where investigators found. Siobhan Randall as well as Michael Titus. But tonight, for the first time, Randall's mom spoke about her daughter's death, hoping that it might help put an end to all this violence. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. They crowded outside the abandoned Oak Cliff home where police found 13 year old Siobhan Randall dead. Y'all know the Lord needed my angel. Investigators say Randall was kidnapped from her Lancaster home as part of revenge for stolen drugs. And I want the people who did this to her, God bless your soul. I want you to know that you took a child life that didn't do anything. Police say Kendall Perkins stole the drugs from Darius Fields, Devontae Owens, and LaPortia Polly. Perkins, the boyfriend of Randall's cousin, is now charged with robbery. Polly and Fields face drug possession charges, but Owens and another man, Laquan Wilkerson, now face aggravated kidnapping charges. So how y'all are here? I was like, all these people are here for my baby, y'all. Randall's mother, Shaquana Presley, thanked the crown for their support. If y'all got kids, y'all cherish them. Oh my God, I mean, hold them and don't let them go, y'all. Hold them and don't let them go. Because I wish she was here right now to where I could hold her and not let her go. The group then took to the streets, hoping to set an example to the rest of the community watching. Siobhan has done something that has awakened each and every one of us. Dallas City Council's Mayor Pro Tem, Dwayne Carraway, promised an aggressive response. That house, others like that house, is coming down. Now, we're also learning some new information from the medical examiner's office. We're learning that other man who was found inside Michael Titus died from a gunshot wound. Still no information to exactly how Siobhan Randall died. Reporting live here in Oak Cliff, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. All right, Jeff, you mentioned Michael Titus. His family says he was supposed to stand guard over the drugs, but 22 pounds of marijuana was stolen instead. Despite the fact that Titus and three others were identified as persons of interest in the case, it was someone named Desmond Jones who led detectives to the bodies of Siobhan Randall and Michael Titus. Yeah.